Limbang is a division in Sarawak that borders another Malaysian state, Sabah, as well as neighbouring country, Brunei Darul Salam. Located at the most northeastern part of the state, Limbang's parliament constituency consists of Bata Danau and Bukit Kota. If you are travelling by road from any division in the state to Limbang, you will have to pass through a part of Brunei, so remember to bring along your passport if you wish to visit Limbang. According to the census, as of 2020, there are 103,100 people comprising the Bisaya, Malay, Lun Bawang, Kedayan, Iban, and other races. Did you know that our current Premier of Sarawak was born in Limbang? Young Ahmad Berhormat Abangjo was born in Limbang in 1950 when his father, who was also Sarawak's first TYT, Tun Abang Haji Openg Abang Shapi'i, worked as a district officer for Limbang. In 2022, the government house where he lived was turned into the Limbang Museum that showcased local culture, lifestyle, and attractions in one place. The Old Port or Limbang Regional Museum Next to the building is the Limbang Regional Museum, or better known as the Old Port Limbang to the locals. The fort was built in 1897, but it was raised by fire in 1986. The original building was then demolished and rebuilt on the same site by maintaining the original features of the building. Located about 37 kilometers from the town of Limbang is the Maritam Volcanic Mud, locally called the Lumpo Bubwa Kampung Maritam. The central attraction are mud pots, which have pools of bubbling mud that form from hot springs and are said to rejuvenate the skin. The Maritam volcanic mud covers an area that stretches over 10 acres and some of these spots are as tall as 80 centimeters high. In an infrastructure project implemented by the Northern Region Development Agency, NRDA, a new premix road will now link the recreational park to the main road. The entrance gate has also been painted and upgraded to improve security. Upgrades to the facilities to this tourist attraction will be completed in 2023. The Sanbata Jetty at Kampung Patiambun has a big potential to be the main ecotourism product for Sarawak. It is said that you can see the proboscis monkey, one of the endangered animals in Borneo, here. In the evening, you can take a boat ride along the river to watch the flashing of thousands of fireflies glowing spectacularly in the evenings along the banks of Sanbata River. Festivals organized in Limbang such as Pesta Babulang and Pesta Madamit have indirectly contributed to the economics of the locals. Many homestays are now available for tourists who wish to stay and experience local culture. Saya adalah seorang pengusaha homestay, salah satu homestay yang ada di Limbang di mana homestay ini adalah lebih kepada konsep desire culture so, dia adalah lebih semua mengenai makanan tradisional, pakaian tradisional dan juga barang-barang antik tradisional di saya Untuk tarikan yang ada di Limbang sebenarnya banyak pesta-pesta yang ada di Limbang ni adalah seperti pesta berbuak, pesta berbulang, pesta berdudun, pesta makan perdana. Semua adalah lebih kepada kaum-kaum yang ada di Limbang ini. Untuk pengunjung ataupun pelancong-pelancong yang datang, terutamanya dari luar negara, Eropah, yang sebelum ini, mereka lebih suka kepada aktiviti-aktiviti seperti membuat kueh moe tempat uh, kaum bisaya dan juga uh, masakan uh, kaum bisaya dan homestay ini ada menyediakan uh, makan di atas gancak iaitu uh, satu acara uh, bagi kaum bisaya adalah nak berbulang tapi dibuat di homestay ini bila peng, uh, pelancong-pelancong datang iaitu makan makanan akan dihidang atas gancak so itu adalah satu unik Uniknya uh, uh, makanan, hidangan dari kami saya lah itu yang kami akan uh, perkenalkan untuk uh, pelancong-pelancong ini. Taman Tasik Bukit Bukit Mas or Gold Hill in the town of Limbang is dominated by 210-meter-tall limestone cliffs covered in jungle. 
It is a popular spot for recreational activities and is connected to the waterfront by a pedestrian bridge, making it a perfect running route for joggers. The summit offers spectacular views of the nearby Brunei and can be accessed by a steep path from Jalan Pandaruan or on foot via a long staircase from the Lake Gardens on the eastern edge of the town. Lapangan Rekreasi Limbang The town of Limbang will have another recreational park for the locals to have their recreational activities and also become a tourist attraction. Located at the old airport field, the recreational park is equipped with a parking space, children's playground, skate park, as well as a mini stage. Considered to be the longest waterfront in Sarawa, the Limbang waterfront will be the new landmark and attraction in this town. The project costs around 60 million ringgit to build, measuring 3.3 kilometers along the Limbang River facing the Kampung Sebrang Kede village. The first phase of the waterfront has just been completed and is expected to be a popular venue for organizing future social events in this town. Uh, pembangunan di Limbang kita dapat lihat secara ketara sejak beberapa tahun ini terutama sekali projek pembangunan di bawah Majlis Daerah Limbang dan juga di bawah agensi-agensi yang lainnya. Dan uh, salah satu projek ataupun pembangunan yang kita dapat lihat dengan jelas yaitu projek Waterfront. Yang uniknya projek Waterfront ini adalah yang terpanjang setakat ini di seluruh Sarawak dan juga menghadap dengan kampung seberang kedai, kita boleh melihat pemenangannya dan juga uh, waterfront ini mempunyai link ataupun sambungan ke Tasik Mas dan kita boleh lihat ke uh, museum dan juga link ke bangunan Tamu Limbang. Oke okay, baik, dari pandangan saya sebagai seorang usahawan, pembangunan ini dapat membantu ekonomi uh, usahawan ataupun peniaga-peniaga kecil yang ada di Limbang secara khususnya. Terutamanya da daripada pelancong-pelancong yang datang ke Limbang dan itu akan membantu peniaga-peniaga kecil dan juga pembangunan-pembangunan ini juga memberi kemudahan yang baik kepada orang masyarakat Limbang terutamanya. Projek-projek yang dapat diguna pakai untuk golongan belia yang supaya belia-belia dapat uh, sama terlibat supaya belia-belia yang ada di Limbang mereka mempunyai aktiviti-aktiviti yang sehat lah dalam sukan ataupun apapun pembangunan yang diberikan ataupun dibangun di kawasan Limbang. Harapan saya apabila waterfront ini siap supaya masyarakat yang ada supaya memberi sokongan yang penuh dan kita sama-sama menjaga kebersihan, menjaga fasilitas yang sudah disediakan itu terutamanya dan yang kedua dalam perancangan majlis daerah Limbang apabila waterfront ini siap sepenuhnya akan ada banyak aktiviti-aktiviti yang akan ada di tempat ini yaitu seperti aktiviti sukan ataupun pameran ataupun basking dan sebagainya dan saya berharap agar anak-anak muda golongan belia agar mereka dapat mengambil peluang ini untuk menjana pendapatan ataupun membuat aktiviti-aktiviti sehat yang ada. The three-way pedestrian bridge. Limbang can be colorful and lively at night. The three-way pedestrian bridge which was completed in 2021 illuminates the town with bright colors. This beautiful structure connects Limbang Plaza, Limbang Market Building and the building of Limbang Malay Association. Officially opened in 2021, this iconic landmark provides a safer option for pedestrians to move around as well as boosting the economic activities among the traders in the areas. The people of Limbang are very active in healthy activities such as sports. One of the activities is the night fun run and walk which was recently organized in conjunction of the International Nurses Day. About 300 participants comprising the locals and international runners participated in the event. A Zumba session was also organized after the race, attracting more than 100 participants. Petong is a popular sport among the locals in Limbang. Due to this, Limbang had organized numerous petong competitions, attracting players from all over Sarawak and Brunei Darussalam. The Petong Arena, which is located next to the Civic Center, is a popular place for Petong athletes to train and compete with each other. The Cable State Bridge at Sungai Limbang 
The Sungai Limbang Bridge 2 will provide an alternative link between Limbang Town and Bandai Sri Begawan, which will reduce distance and traveling time. The bridge has dual carriage, two ways, and spans about 777 meters in length. This 187 million ringgit bridge is expected to be completed by the end of 2024. Once completed, the bridge will provide opportunities to develop more land across the river from Limbang Town for economic activities such as agriculture, housing, and tourism. A total of eight entrepreneur centers or Anjuk Ustahawans are to be built in the Northern Region Development Agency areas comprising Limbang and Lawas Division. One of the centers is Mandamit, a Batu Danau land district in Limbang. Anjung Usahawan is a part of the Sarawak government's efforts to support small and medium-sized enterprises SMEs, by providing a one-stop center for trading, processing, training, and e-commerce orientation facilities, thereby facilitating the development of budding entrepreneurs. More development projects are to be carried out in Limbang in the near future. As of 2023, there are 239 development projects worth 2 billion ringgit in Limbang, which is funded by the state government. The setup of the Northern Region Development Agency will help to expedite not only the development of the town, but the surrounding areas such as Batu Danau and Bukit Kota. With the help of the local government agencies such as the council, Limbang has the potential to become one of the big players in the tourism industry that can elevate the livelihood of its people.